Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to comment on the petition that has been brought to this House uh, through the Member of Parliament for Semi Honorable uh, Nikal. Mr. Speaker, we all remember the unfortunate events of uh, December 2007 to early 2008. And I think it is something that we need to close as a chapter in the history of this country. But it is uh, not right to do so, Mr. Speaker, when there are Kenyans out there who have been discriminated against and uh, have not gotten compensation like some other people. We are not saying that people who got affected in other areas have got enough compensation. Because, Mr. Speaker, we must agree that loss of life can never be compensated. We must also agree that even loss of property cannot adequately or sufficiently be compensated. But there is need for gesture. It has been done elsewhere. Those who are affected in some parts of Rift Valley have been compensated previously. But those who suffered, those who are coming from Nyanza and Western, those who are working in Navasha uh, farms, those who are working in other areas of Rift Valley and Central, who are coming from the Western region, who are affected by post-election violence, up to today, Mr. Speaker, have been forgotten. And this, they, has, they have cried for far too long. And therefore, I hope and wish that the committee that is going to deal with this matter, that is the petitions, Public Petitions Committee, that this time we find a closure to this uh, uh, dark chapter in our history as a country so that we can move on. And I am sure that Kenya is not prepared to repeat, to repeat this again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for... The Honourable